Okay, this is Big Baby J with another episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. New game minus. Weak mode. As my characters come in, they remain the same. They come in level 1, they're level 1. They come in level 3, to level 3. The highest level I would be in this uh, walkthrough. So, yeah. And uh, we made it to the Foon Coast. Uh, we just got through uh, last episode. We got our scathe and massive moon. So, look at our abilities. Uh, that's techniques. Let's go to magic. Yeah. Let's go to magic. Black magic. Scathe. There we have it. We got scathe. And as far as weapons concerned, we got uh, massive moon. Okay. I picked up a few other things in uh, Loose You Minds early. So, also, I went ahead and went to, uh, where did I go? Oh, yeah. To, uh, Sorobi Step. And we might as, make, might as well make a few things real quick. Let's go here and sell a few things. Uh,. Wing more and liver, sell three of those. Ancient Teller Shell, sell two of those. Unidan High Colon, sell one of those, but we only got one. Uh, a, a Demontite, Adamantite, we're gonna sell three of those. Death Powder, sell, well, sell three of those. Noma High Colon, we don't need but one of those. Bottle one carapice. So, well, I actually don't think you need but two. Let's just try two anyway. All right, that should do it. That give us our, our chain link belt, which is bubble belt. Gave us another bu bubble belt. Uh, gave us another shield, Venetian shield. And if you need the ultimate blade, which I don't need, but I get anyway. Those items I just sold, give me all three of those items. So yeah, I got two bubble belts now. Bubble belts double your HP. So yeah, we good. All right, so let's go ahead and head to the Sultan Cave Palace. Okay. That's where we need to go. Since I've already been uh, to this Crusader Crystal, we're going to go ahead and teleport to the Cheetah Uplands. There's no point in uh, walking that far. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and cut this uh, trip just a little short. Talk to our guy here. Question mark, the hunt begins. Alright, now, we're gonna leave Bosch under the uh, Berserk spell right now. You guys, Berserk and Brush is on. Make this pretty quick and easy. I already got my float. Uh, I think it was Blinder. Yeah, I think it was Blinder that we got in Sorobi Step. So, we good on this. Bosch is making quick work of everything. Got me another box of this wine. Those do come in handy. I haven't bought any because when I get to uh, Red Crystal, I get a I get 99. I got about 30 something now, so 
uh, I don't appoint me buying all the boxes of wine at one time because I'm a I'm a game and in, in, in the uh, great crystal. That's where I get where well, I get most of my uh, boxes of wine from. Am I going the right way? Yeah, there my hole is right there. I don't need to save. Uh, hey, you sure this rabbit hole's really the way into Arcades? Better a hare unseen than a rat in a trap. And again, if you'd prefer to go knocking on the front gates of the city, be my guest. But what about once we're inside? Won't the city watch find us? We'll do what we can to blend into the crowd. Our names may be notorious, but our faces are not far known. True, true. You're a princess and we didn't even recognize you. I noticed. Okay, boss, that's enough. That's enough. You take them out before I get a chance to steal from them. <clears throat> so let's put you on uh, actually we're gonna need a nation belt yeah we're gonna put you in the nation belt on that's what you need and what garments do you have uh, you need okay you got remedy we good we don't need nothing else we good you got all the remedy lures, so whatever status ailment we get, we know we you got us. Oh, if you haven't got your Opal Ring by, by now, yeah, you, can, you need to try to get it, because Opal Ring does come in handy, especially with, for your spellcasters. But Opal Ring does bypass the Reflect status. You don't have to dispel it. You can just bypass it. Saves you a lot of trouble in the end. Let's slow this down. Alright, let me equip my stuff. Let's go to silent shot. Cause all these guys are different weak to different stuff, so yeah. And we plan on stealing everything we can from them. I want to steal as much as I can from these guys. Because, uh, I just like stealing. Knew that was coming. They can have a whole bunch of fast picks. Okay. I stole a pumpkin star? You know what? Fine. Let's just take out pumpkin star. No. Pumpkin star. That's who I want you to take out.
Take him out. Huh? Got Pumpkin Star. Give my stuff, but I'm not taking out the ones I want to take out. That's one down. Yeah, go ahead and steal from this king now. Kill the king. I want to steal from him too. Okay, we got it. Kill the king off. Now right, let's steal from this guy now. Top Stark, I think I stole from you once already. No, I haven't. I only have one item to steal, so I really don't need no thief spell for this this fight. Get your tool. That's amazing. When I wasn't trying to steal from them, I stole from them pretty easy. Now I'm trying to steal from them. They don't want to give me what I want. Like where I'm up right now. There we go. Like kill this little guy. I said kill him. I want him dead. Put me to sleep again. Alright, kill that onion. Why'd you wake her up? Let her get away. <laughs> one shot did it. I think I stole. You the one I stole from earlier. Yeah. Let's just give him off. I think he's the last one at that.
Yep, that's the last one. You can fight these guys again in the Feywood. There's a certain area, I can't remember the name of it, but if you clear out the zone and come back in, they'll be back. And as long as you stay in the Feywood, you can go two zones away and they'll still be there. So you can bring them back over and over again as many times as you like. Uh, but why do that when you can go to trial mode? Fire them as many times as you want. Mangan drawers, vanquished. An unsanctioned hunt. Now, let's go ahead and pick up our little chest that we have. Wait a minute, what do you have equipped? Thief cuffs. That was money? Okay, I'm not used to that. Okay. I thought mostly it was items in this area. Okay, I guess that's everything. Okay, which way do I want to go out? Right here. This is the way I want to go out, right here. Go to this side I want to go out. Reason man. That's one reason. And here's the other reason. Four thousand might well say five thousand gear. And here's another thing to grab. Haste to come out. Now you do have to fight this crystal. I already stole from A shock mode in this area here what we're gonna do is uh we got something to open up this door right here before me it don't open up from this side opens up from the other side it's the pilgrim's door so i'm gonna show you the route you need to take up to open pilgrim's door Take that route now. But first, we need to pick up our map.
Okay, and this location right here is where I start my, my, my trek. If you look at the map, it kind of looks like a heart. So I always start in this corner right here where my marker is. This is where I always start it. And all you have to do is just follow your path straight down in a clockwise motion. So when you come out, this first area you're going to come to right here, you're going to come down here. And you're going to continue on the outside. Continue around the outside first. All you gotta do is stay at the bottom, make your way around. Now this little loop right here doesn't matter. It's not an issue. So if you happen to come around this loop, it doesn't matter. Just keep going around this way. You'll be right here in this area next. Now I'm coming on this outside layer to the next zone. When you get a, 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 a statement like the course of the waterfall seems to have changed, you know you're on the right path. So just continue around. Stay on the outside, right here. Go stay on the up outside, right here, and come through the next zone. Now, don't go this way. We're gonna continue straight right here to this door right here, the ancient door. That's what we need to go, the ancient door. Right, now you're gonna go through this other ancient door right here. Now don't follow this path down. That's too early. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hook, hit this little hook up here and come this way. And you're gonna come down this path right here. Right, I'm at this zone. Now I'm on the the lane on the inside. This is where you want to go. This zone right here. So make sure you follow my marker. The course of the waterfall seems to have changed. Still on the right path.
Okay, now you want to come in here. Here's your next zone you need to go through, right? Through this path right here. Okay, this time, right here, this zone right here, this is where we're going next. Close to the waterfall, things have changed. Still on the right path. Okay, this time you're gonna go through this path right here. So you're going through here now. Okay, now we gotta go through the ancient door again. Now we're in the last section of it. We're gonna come straight down this path right here. This is where we're going next. This little centerpiece. You hear a door open in the distance. Once you get that 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 sentence, uh, you cleared it. The door is open now. So. You can forget them guys over there. I'm not gonna fool with them. Uh, technique thousand needles. That's a ninja sword. Weak, weak ninja sword at that. And Pegasus door. Just open it. Get your first mega elixir. And that's how you open Pegasus door. Alright, we can head back now. Forget you guys. Let's go on through here. No, I don't want to come through that zone yet. No, not yet. We're going to go back. We're going to open another door. Uh, yeah, let's go through this zone here. We got another door we need to open. And to open it, you have to start. I start again in my same location. My first start, starting point for the pilgrim's door. I think it's the door of the of the acidic. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I might be just saying it wrong altogether. But right here is where we're gonna start at. There's a little diamond shape right here, in the, right here where we're gonna go in. We're gonna open it up now. Cause uh, later on, we get to face Hellworm. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open it up now while I'm here. And what you do is you start with that ancient door I just opened in this little uh, right hand corner. Start there first. Always start there first. Then you go to this this door ours. This one I just opened up. We're gonna follow this diamond shape around. Okay, when you come around, make sure you go to this door right here. You're gonna focus on door of hours. That's what you're gonna focus on right here. So you open this door. Go, Kupo. Not know that. That didn't do me any good. See, this is the door we're going to open right here. The aesthetic store. So, I guess I did say it right. Maybe. Now we're going to go to this door. Ours here. I'm going to open this up. Now we're gonna go right back to where we started from, but we're gonna hit this door right here. This should be the last door. No, this is not the last door. The next one will be the last door. You hear a door open in the distance. Okay, we got it open. So now if you want, you can take this shortcut right here. Go straight across. Just open it. You're good to go. Now, Hall of the Acidic. Uh, need the key. So that's the only thing keeping us from Hellworm right now. We'll get that later. Let me equip you guys with bowline sash. Don't need y'all going crazy on me. And Vaughn, uh, we're gonna have you uh, take this off. And the highest max HP. That's who you're going to take out. Go ahead and slow it down. You no, know, I just thought about it for a second. I wonder what my knee hope player hole would do to this guy. That's not a bad idea, actually. Ash, I'm gonna give you the honors. See what this guy, we can do to this guy.
But let's let you get over here to us then. We'll do that first. That's all. Slow. That's not very good. Alright, get your bubble belt back on. No, not bubble belt, but uh, bowline sash. I need that back on. Vaughn, since you're not going to be doing very much damage anyway, let's get you the uh, bone of Biblius. Let you do a little damage anyway. Actually, you're doing more damage than them. <laughs> That's okay. All works out. Okay, now he's going to do the divine thing. Try these mischarges. Surprise for you. Your mind. Got 
got a surprise for you. Do I got a black hole? That's what I want to know. Do I have a black hole? Oh! Well, moment of truth. Black hole. Looking for that black hole. Yes! I got it. Black hole. <laughs> Finally got a black hole on screen. And it still didn't kill him. I'm out. We'll go ahead and take him out. There you have it. I got a black hole. <laughs> that I like. That I like. <coughs> All right. Let me see here. Get your bubble belt back. All right. I'll leave you with a bowline sash. Yeah, we're going to roll like that. We can do this again. All right, pick up the pace. Grab my uh, items in his area. X potion. Bubble moat. What else do I have? Elixir. That thing's down is worthless, but it'll work though. It keep me alive. Cure emotes. Is that everything? Okay, good. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out of here now. We've done our dirt. Watch the traps. Watch the traps. Bosch has already filled up his mischarges. Just like that. 35 MP don't take very long. So if you want to use that as a strategy to get your MP back, all you need to do is just take off your missed, missed armor, 
and you'll go back. Vaughn probably have like 33 MP. It won't take him long either to get his back. But at this point, as far as I'm concerned, it really doesn't matter. I have nobody I'm going to use mischarges on at this point. Alright, before we leave, make sure you get this, t this uh, teleport crystal. Make sure you hit that. Less like a capital, more like a sewer. Even empires have need of sewers. The runoff from Arcades proper pools here. Those who lack papers to live in the city itself. The mighty who have fallen, and the fallen who would be mighty. Their eyes never leave Arcades. I guess it must be a lot nicer than this place. Oh, to be sure. Arcades reeks of a different filth. Let's be off. We can follow our noses to Draclaw. Pay the vendor visit, visit. See what he got to offer. I need to stock up on my remedies. Uh, what else do I need to stock up on? Yeah, Phoenix down. Yeah, I guess so. And that's all he really has to offer. All right. Now, in this area, you can get a lot of not rust. Free, no diamond armor needed. See there? No diamond armor. Thieves cups. Okay. Now there's three people that you can three sets of got people you can talk to to trigger your scene. I'm not gonna talk to this guy. You can talk to this guy and then this guy up here. Uh I'm not gonna be using those. But if you want to, there's three of them you can use. I prefer the Moogles to cause the riot for myself. Uh, for this guy, you need a Shady Seek. He's going to try to talk about selling the Moogles. So, yeah. Then I'm going to talk to the Moogles. Now, now I got them activated. We're going to use them. Now, I could talk to this guy right here. And then this guy right here and activate that one. But I like the Moogles better. I mean, how often do you see Moogles attacking people? Well, you won't actually see it. But, yeah. I mean, you know they attack. Alright. Also, for Chaos, you need this guy right here. We'll talk to him later. Along with the ones in Rabbit Aster. I already got the medallion, so we good. So... 
Jules. Yeah, he's going to be uh, helping us out. I guess you want to call it helping out, but more like using. But I guess it all works out. Well, 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 there's a sight for sore eyes. Didn't think I'd be seeing you again, not here. Oh, wonderful, enter the street here. A pie would do well to smile. Won't want to sour his reputation. You know this guy? An old friend. He's a street ear, a peddler of rumor and heresy. Hearsay, by the name of Jules. He buy the gill given him by his own mother and shave it by half to pay her for pay for her funeral. Sometimes an ear with the tight purse strings, the order of the day, like when a pirate decides to fancy is going up in the world. To the city, you know a way. In Arcadia's knowledge is power, and power has a way of opening doors, boy. Now a fool would buy a sack of feathers for his pillow, but a wise man He'll buy the whole stinking cockatrice and get his fill of meat into the bargain. So, wise man, how does 1500 gear sound? Bright boy, you learn fast. I call this meeting to order. Tell me, boy, you heard any rumors in town? Actually, I did hear a Sikh selling moogles. Moogles trading, you don't say. A boy has seen the dancing moogles. Go tell them what you've just told me. Do it, boy. Do it. To, to it, boy. To it. Okay. Like I said, uh, we're going we gonna to tell the moogles what we just uh, talked to about the seek. So I activated that one. That's the one I wanted. So that's the one we're going to use to uh, get the ride started. All we got to do now is go back to the Moogles and tell them what the Sikh told us. And here we are. Now, let's go back. You told them just as I told you? Good boy. I'm not sure what any of this has to do with going up in the world. Oh, witness the power of knowledge, my boy. See, it begins. A brawl, a brawl, the Moogles are rioting. Now's our chance. Thanks, Jules. Never thought you'd go for such a meager price. I probably should know what words are worth gear. Uncountable. Here's some words for you. The project of Bonanza, son come back to the Imperial Roast. See, words of much value, these. <coughs> bah. like a fish out of water I'm just checking out the city even if it is the Empire you've changed Vaughn you were always marching to your own beat almost like you were impatient even 
In a good way. Maybe it's because I've seen war now. <laughs> Never imagined I'd ever come this far away from home. Hey, Lars is here in the city, isn't he? He's a tough one. I wonder how he's doing. You always were a soft touch, Vaughn. You know what's amazing? I always thought I'd go my whole life without meeting people like the Princess or Lord Larsa. And here we are in the capital. I know. It's a little over my head sometimes. Good, Vaughn. You've come to understand the difficulties of serving royalty. Hey, I'm just along for the ride. That wasn't a complaint, was it, Bosch? <clears throat> right. Let's get moving. Hey, don't change the subject. Right. <laughs> Okay, let me go ahead and uh, buy my Blizzard spell. It's going to let's go to the magic shop. Uh, not Blizzard Gun, it's Thunder Gun. Oh well. Guess I wanted it too bad. Alright, now don't forget uh, this girl right here, July. If you remember after we got the Dawn Shot and Albina, she was there. If you did that side quest, you get a Solomon Hakeon. Now, if you read Let Her Talk To Her Again, once I finish this posting, I'm off to make some inquiries in Rabinaster. A man here, an Imperial, actually had his coin pouch stolen by a pickpocket in the street market there, and he wants it back. Good luck, eh? Okay, that, if you remember, in the beginning, when Vaughn was in the market and he stole from those Imperials, yeah, she's coming looking for us next, but nothing ever happened, so yeah, don't worry about it. All right, we're going to end this episode here. We'll pick up the next episode in a Drac Lord Laboratory. So, uh, y'all take care. Catch you next episode.